Nationwide is on Oh, um, anyway, today we're going to learn how to do this little selection tool. So um, there's a tutorial that shows a boy pushing a wheelbarrow. Um, and you can use that image off that if you want. But I'm going to use another image, and you can use whatever image you want. I typed in cornucopia in my search and came up with these. So I'm going to choose this image right here. So all I have to do is click on that image, and it opens in a side window or an extra window. But don't click on this go image. Go to View Image. So you click on View Image, and it brings up a bigger uh, size, uh, higher high level pixels. And then I'm going to right click this and go Copy Image. Okay. Then I'm going to go to Photoshop. And I'm going to go File in a second. I'm going to go, oh, it's important to clipboard, hang on. I'm going to go File, New, and this will automatically make the size whatever the picture I've chosen. So I just say Selection Tool, uh, Tutorial. And then I say OK, or click OK, not say OK, well, even though I said OK. OK, OK. Anyway, then go Edit, Paste, and my image will be pasted into my Photoshop. Now I'm going to go over here, put this in this corner, and I'm going to click in the background, and I'm going to move this over here so I can work, and then I'm going to go to my Tutorial. So here's the quick selection tool. So first thing I do is select the quick selection tool and you'll see it's the one, two, three, fourth tool down in Photoshop. So I go over here, go one, two, three, four, click and hold and make sure I get the quick selection tool, not the magic wand. Then I'm going to scroll down and it's talking about the lasso tool, the magnetic lasso tool and so on like that. So you can read through this if you've never been there, but to make this go a little faster, I'm going to go on all the way down and go where it starts doing the add to selection. So I've got my selection tool. Up here is where it's talking about the, the add selection tool. So I click on add selection. Now the size of your brush, you can bring it down here and see. Let me bring it on the orange so you can see it better. The size of this brush is pretty good. It's going to grab things like that. So as you're doing the selection tool, what you want to do is Stay on the like the grapes here. I want to be on the grapes, but I don't want to let my selection tool sneak over into the wood because then it'll start grabbing some of the wood here and so on. So I'm going to start right here with these grapes. And you know, so that's grabbing the grapes like that. And it's avoiding the walnuts and the, the um, cornucopia basket itself. So I'm just going to continue selecting grapes and now the apples and now the pears and on and on and going around here and see how quick, that's why it's called the quick selection tool. It quickly selects different colors there. Now the problem is going to be is when if I try to select stuff that um, is more of a like color. See the grapes here are in high contrast to the wood behind it, but um, the walnut not so much. So if I grab this walnut, I've got to be careful that it doesn't grab the basket because I like see this walnut here. I'm going to go like this. And I did pretty good there. So now I'm going to go over here and grab the little pumpkin. And I don't want, um, now if I want to try to grab the nuts, this is the part that's going to be a little tough because the wood and the nuts look a lot alike. So I have to, see there it jumped out into the wood, but it's actually doing pretty good. So I'm going to, act, I'm going to make it make a mistake. So there, see how it selected the wood that I didn't want? So what I'm going to do is there's an option key on your keyboard. You just click the option key and it deselects the wood this time. So I'm just going to go along here and go along the bottom of these nuts here. And it's doing pretty good what I want. So I'm using the, the option key takes away from the selection. So now I'm going to keep continuing to add the nuts down here and this one here and so on like this. And notice I'm staying inside the shell of the nuts so that it doesn't grab the wood, but see it grabs some wood. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Okay, so it's grabbed some area here that I don't want it to grab, and it's grabbed some area here. So I'll hold the Option key down and select right along here so that it goes back to grabbing just the pear and stuff like that. So as I go around, 
I can see little areas that it's grabbed what I don't want to grab, for instance, right here. So I'm going to notice I try to keep my brush uh, outside of the grapes and then to re-grab the grapes I click here, but I don't let my brush go outside the color of the green of the grapes. So now I'm holding the space bar down to get my little hand here so I can move. So there's a little extra that I grab there. Oops, forgot to hold the option key down. Not a smart thing. So I'm holding the option key down to deselect that again. And deselecting here with the option key down. Reselecting here with the option key up. And again, I'm moving along here. So I missed a little bit of this nut right here. And got a little too much here, so I'm holding the option key down. And so on. Now, here I missed part of this. Now you can either just click holding the plus up here, or you can hold the shift key down, and that will um, add to your selection. So I missed a little bit of that grape, a little bit more of him. And then I'm going along here, missed a little bit of this grape, so I'm holding the shift key down. Missed a little bit of this grape, so I'm holding the shift key down. And again, to move, to get the little hand so I can move things, I'm holding the um, space bar down. So you see if you zoom in, you can kind of see where you missed. And now here's an area that I grab too much of, but my brush is too big. So I can change the diameter of my brush, bring it down to a smaller amount, and then hold the option key down and click in there. And so I'm going to continue to move around my selection and change the size of my brush. I'm changing the size of the brush down here to a smaller amount. And again, hold the option key down and continue. Now, down here at the bottom, I've got some selection of wood that I don't want to get rid of. So I'm going to hold the option key down and stay between the nuts. And if I do good, it should grab, deselect the background. And again, you might have to make your brush even smaller to get into nooks and crannies. So I'm holding the option key down here, holding the option key down here so I can get in between the, I can't tell if it's an orange or the, yeah, orange or apple, I think it's an orange, and so on. So I'm going along like here. So this area here I don't want selected, so I'm holding the uh, option key down and going between the fruit and nuts. And see how I'm deselecting those areas. And I think there's one more here. And then I think I'm pretty much good. Maybe a little bit over here. You have some dark spaces here that I don't want to have selected. Again, I'm holding the option key down to deselect these. Holding the space bar down so I get the little hand so I can move around my picture. And so on. So I'm finally completely done, I think. So I'm going to zoom out. Command-0 zooms you back to size. So I've got most of what I want selected here. Now, up here at the top, there's a little button called Refine Edge. So I click the Refine Edge, and this brings up my what I've selected. Now, I notice I've got some dark areas here that I don't want it selected, so I'm going to cancel that and quickly go and deselect those areas. So again, I'm holding the Option key down. And let's go here. And let's go in between the grapes and the cornucopia basket. And maybe I want to re-add those grapes there. Ah, too far. Dang it. And again, holding the minus key down. Now let's see what we got. Let's go back to Refine Edge. I think I'm where I want to be. And maybe some little parts there, but I don't think this is going to matter. So now... Uh, the other thing I can do is I can feather this a lot or a little, but you want to feather it somewhat. Don't want to leave a hard edge there because it, sometimes it looks funny and smooth it a little bit. So you move these back and forth. You can also um, expand your selection or contract your selection, depending on if you've got too much of some things there. And so I'm going to go back there. Now, I just realized I cut off the stalk of my pumpkin right there, but I I'm, I think I'm just going to leave as it. No, I'm going to go back and get him. So I'm going to add the plus and go get my pumpkin stock. So one more time refining the edge just to make sure I'm good. And I think I am, so I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to go to Edit, 
copy, and edit, paste. And if you'll notice over here in the layers um, palette, if I turn this off, turn this off, there's my selected um, layer. And now I'm going to go to the background layer or layer one, and I'm going to go to image, adjustments, and desaturate. So I'm going to take all the color out of the background. So now I've got the color, and you'll notice like right here, here I missed some spots there, so I'm picking up the color of the basket. But overall, that's pretty close to what I wanted. So the first thing I do is I go File, Save. And put it in my documents. So I'm going to go Selection Tool, to Selection Tool Tutorial. And a PSD means Photoshop Document. You always want to save a Photoshop document because you can save the layers. So you can go back and work on it later. So I'm going to save that and say OK. But to upload it to my uh, Flickr account, I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save as a JPEG. Now, you don't just change up the word of JPEG up here. You actually go down to the format and tell it that you want it to be a JPEG. And once you do JPEG, then you can save it to your documents and say Save and OK. And now I've saved a JPEG of my, my Cornucopia, and also I've saved a...